Amari Starmar. How you doing, Amari? I'm good. Nice to have uh, you in town in Toronto. Um, I mean, talk about the city of Toronto, first of all. You've been here quite a few times. Uh, what do you like about this city? Well, I mean, it's, it's a phenomenal city. You know, it's, it's very clean. Um, uh, the crime rate is low. Uh, great restaurants to, to, to go to. Um, uh, beautiful nightlife. And so we, you have all those tangibles combined, I and mean, you have a great city. Now, we see you with the Canada T-shirt on there. And, I mean, talk about the connection and how you got to be involved with the Maccabi organization uh, in the first place. Yeah, well, the head coach here, uh, John Doerr, calls the GM of the Knicks and say he wanted me to, to help him coach uh, uh, the Canadian team for the Maccabi games. And I accepted the offer, and that's, that's kind of how it came about. Discuss the connection that you guys have, the Canadian Maccabi organization, uh, with Amari Stoudemire. Well, Amari, uh, Glenn Grunwald, who's now the general manager of the Knicks, came with me in 2005 as my assistant coach. Uh, I do a little bit of personnel work for the Knicks and uh, consult with Glenn on uh, personnel matters. And when Amari had gone over to Israel uh, a couple of years ago and to explore his Jewish roots, uh, I actually uh, called Glenn. I said, "Look, uh, ask him if he'd be interested in uh, in working with me." Uh, so I knew him a little bit from my involvement with the Knicks. I went down uh, to talk to him. It happened to be uh, just after he had uh, injured himself uh, in the playoffs last year, and uh, so we talked about it. And he was intrigued by the idea, and uh, we talked on the phone a few times, and he got really excited about it and wanted to come. So, uh, and the rest is history. Here he is. Now, a couple of years ago, you also um, had a trip to Israel where you discovered your spirituality. Um, talk about how that came about. Well, it wasn't discovered then. I mean, it was discovered years before that. Uh, but with, with Israel being the uh, a pivotal place in, in spirituality, it was great to me, for me to visit there a few years ago. Talk about that trip. I mean, what were you able to to see, and what were you able? What places were you able to go? Well, you can go anywhere. I mean, when you, when you get to Israel, you, you have all different types of uh, landmarks you can visit. You have Old Jerusalem, you have the Dead Sea, you have Masada, you have Tel Aviv. So all these areas and places over there are a great place to visit. What do you see in terms of basketball? Now, you're here covering and, and helping to coach this squad. What do you see in the growth of basketball in Canada? Well, I definitely think it's growing. I mean, you guys uh, uh, have some great young talent, uh, you know, so... Um, Basketball is a sport that's, that's international, man, and, and I think everyone can really improve as, as a player and as a, as a country uh, on that particular sport. Well, Maccabi Games, it's the Jewish Olympics. I believe there's going to be about 75 countries there this year and over 9,000 athletes from around the world. And it's a great bonding experience, everybody going back to Israel for the games. What are you looking for in terms of this squad when you head over to Israel? I mean, of course, you're probably looking to win this, uh, but what are your realistic goals for this squad? Well, we're looking to win the whole thing. I mean, that's, that's the objective. That's the goal for us is to win a gold medal. Um, and so we're preparing that way. We're training that way. Uh, and, and the guys look good. Now you saw, of course, your, your, your assistant coach, Amari Stoudemire. Um, what does he bring to the program and the uh, exposure that you guys are getting? He's teaching us a lot of good moves down low. He's um, providing you know, some of his sort of unique um, experiences when he's playing in the NBA. And I th I mean, we're definitely going to be the stars of the show, I think, when we get there because we got uh, Amari at our side. And I think it gives us a bit of confidence, too, knowing we got uh, such a good player in our bench. This is a huge, huge event in the Israeli basketball community. I've been on the phone with the president of the Israeli Federation a couple of times in the last week, the, the director of the National Sports Center. Um, the media coverage over there is, we get off the plane and the, the president of El Al would like a picture with a Mary when we get off the plane. So, I mean, that, that's the buzz that he's creating over there. And it's great for the, the games. It raises the profile of the games. Uh, Mary and I have been invited to... Uh, uh, President Perez's uh, 90th birthday party while we're over there. We have another uh, uh, engagement with the, the Prime Minister, Prime Minister Netanyahu. So, I mean, it's going to be a terrific opportunity for all of us. It's uh, uh, br bringing the world together through sport and in a peaceful situation.